Hi, Eman. Hi, Shanti. So, you are doing, you are starting the Docker demos today. Anmos? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, please go ahead. Sure. So, yeah, so today, um, Shanti, I'll be walking over um, activities related to containerization using Docker on um, Azure. Uh, one of one of them would be on Azure Linux VM. And um, I also already installed Docker on my local Windows. So I'll be also um, creating some multi layer containers using my local uh, Docker desktop. So we'll also go over that as well. So here are the references or websites that I have used uh, to complete this demo. Uh, these are all um, uh, Docker websites. So I've used um, um, Hub Docker for registry, then um, the installation steps um, I've used for Linux and also for Windows. So this is uh, basically the application architecture that uh, we'll be creating multi-level containerization uh, using front end as uh, React and back end with Node.js. And um, we'll, we'll uh, re, um, store the data in uh, MySQL database. And also in the back, um, we have access to uh, PHP uh, MyAdmin. Um, it's a web interface that allows us to manipulate data. So. So the prerequisites for this demo would be to have um, uh, Windows 10, which I have on my local, and uh, Ubuntu um, I have on my Azure portal. So I have already created a virtual machine, so which is with uh, Ubuntu Image 22 uh, LTS version. So the prerequisites would be to have uh, Visual Studios uh, locally to um, to look into the um, front end and back end core and how we can use the extension that I have downloaded for Visual Studios, uh, which is Docker extension, which allows us to um, connect to those uh, code, uh, create some images, and also um, I have downloaded the sample code from the Git repository uh, that was provided by Docker to, uh, to use as a um, demo. And already have access to the Azure portal and Docker Hub. Um, okay, so in this agenda, first uh, we will perform this uh, installation of uh, Docker Desktop on Linux VM, followed by Windows. Uh, on Linux, uh, we'll use uh, on command-based um, uh, installation, and on the Windows because when we uh, install on Windows, it requires a restart, so we we are. I'm trying to avoid that because uh, our call would be disconnected if we do that as part of this demo. But I already have it installed. Okay, here uh, this is the steps that I followed for Windows 10. So with uh, React and Node.js, uh, we'll create an image. Um, we'll try after um, creating containers. We'll try to launch the application. Uh, once the containers are up and running and um, also we'll create an image out of this and we'll um, and try to also see if the image gets uh, stored on the one of the registry which is docker here so here is the vm that i've used um, you can see the public id has been assigned and the name has been given with os so we'll use uh, these commands first to update, then we'll install some certificates and then run our installation. Uh, we'll be installing Docker CLI um, packages related to Docker plugins and build and compose. Then we will, um, once the installation is complete, we'll verify the same uh, by downloading an uh, image on the on the local to see how how um, it uh, responds the Docker engine. 
and once that is done, we'll we can also purge those um, packages and repositories related to Docker. Then we'll go back to um, uh, uh, Visual Studios where we have um, Docker desktop on our Windows. So we will also repeat the same steps where we'll try to create and uh, uh, run the container and launch the application. So th this is basically a screenshot um, on the left where um, I have downloaded this uh, from the GitHub uh, public repositories. And on the right is basically the status of the services that are part of this application, which shows that they are created and they are started. So this is basically um, the files that are related to this application server. And uh, this is a screenshot uh, from the registry um, saying that um, we have one image that has been uh, pushed into this uh, registry, which is more secure to store your uh, images that uh, we create. So here's the screenshot once that image has been created. And uh, that's uh, pretty much. So now let's connect to our um, VM on the Azure portal. Let's connect from me. It won't connect to VM, so let's go. So I already have those commands um, uh, put in sequence. We'll try to update um, from here once it connects to the VM. OK. I have given the name Docker hyphen VM, so it used um, subscription and also resource group to basically um, establish the connection. So as of now, Docker only supports um, on uh, LTS 22 version, even though we have Ubuntu 24. Um, the Docker desktop is still not ready for the latest version. So I have picked uh, 22, um, which would work for this demo. Yeah, it's done. Um, it's trying to connect. Uh, I think so. It shouldn't take so long here. OK, Azure VM. Yeah. Let me refresh this. Maybe there's some delay. Let me refresh once and we'll try connecting again. It's possible that uh, the VM might be down because I might have an um, auto shutdown after a certain time because it's already 11 here. Uh, let's verify if that's the case. Yeah, that's the reason. OK. So it's just a good practice to bring down the VM when you're not in use, uh, but so today the demo is a little late. So. OK, I think now it's up. Let's see what the agent shows. Not yet ready. OK, now we can connect. Go ahead. VM is started. Let's go ahead and select. So for this demo, I'm using um, username and password to connect um, instead of the key.
OK, we can see you now it's trying to connect to the VM. OK, so let's first uh, run this uh, APT command, which basically uh, looks for any pending updates that are required, and if they're required, it will be installed. Then, OK, that is done. Now we'll install a certificate that is required for this uh, Docker desktop. And also we we'll create this directory for the key. I'll say, okay. Demos, demons using our data libraries and the which survey should be started, okay. Click OK. We'll go ahead and install this key. Create a directory for this key path. And then we'll also give the path from where you can download this uh, Docker. And now We'll say this is a repository that you can use to add uh, to the uh, packaging tool. And let's try updating again. OK, now we'll install the latest version of uh, the Docker engine container and uh, build and compose plugins. You want to continue, yes. You can see all the packages are being um, uncompressed and uh, required libraries will be installed. Okay, uh, this should not be problem okay okay now let's now that we have installed um, let's verify that our docker is running by downloading an uh, um, image and see if if the docker engine can extract that image and give us some output so the image name is uh, hello world in this case so yeah so you said the latest version is not available local so it basically uh, pulled it from the repo and uh, we can see the message the hello from docker so we can see that it's working so behind this uh, the docker engine did actually connect to the daemon and pull the image uh, from the hub uh, docker hub and then tried to create this container for us and the container is up and running. That's how we're able to see this uh, output. Hello from Docker. So now, um, because there's no UI for this VM from uh, uh, the Azure, so we'll try to purge some of those uh, uh, Docker dependency um, packages so that uh, we can uninstall them. OK. I'll copy this. I'm copying these commands. Even after um, purging, there are some uh, parts where it will still leave those files folder structure. So we'll try to see if we can um, remove those any uh, dependency files as well. So we'll use uh, remove commands to clear off those um, 
dependency containers, anything related to images. Okay. Okay, so um, now let's try. Uh, there's one more for ATC Docker. Let's unbound this as well. Let's see if it's required. Okay, no point specified. Okay, it's not required. And for Docker library, let's see if it did create this um, folder structure. Yes, it did. OK, so now let's um, uh, basically run uh, the image again to verify um, the Docker is fully uninstalled. OK, so we got that error message that Docker command not found. So that means the installation is also complete now. So let's uh, switch to the Windows part of this demo. So I already have this Visual Studio um, on my local PC, and um, this is this is basically the uh, web application uh, document with uh, the code files. So we can see on the left um, what all files are there. The main files that we deal with here is with uh, the Docker file, um, which has basically the configuration details, and it's basically telling which images to pick from where we should copy the files and how we should run. So basically, this is an application when once launched uh, will allow us to um, add some items to the list. Like a, you can say uh, from a placeholder, you can give the name of your key and you can see that once you add, uh, it will be listed as part of uh, the result. And as part of this, you can also do some changes to your header, add some functionality. Um, the idea is to see how these um, each of these service that we'll look at, like client, DB, uh, front end, back end. Uh, for each of these service, Docker has actually um, created one separate container. So it has around five containers for this. So we we'll look at this how this will this can be launched. So this is from the Visual Studios, but I already have the desktop uh, docker desktop already installed um, you can see now none of them is running everything is uh, basically stopped or you can see the status as uh, exited so once we launch the compose watch we can see it will um, run or basically um, run this application that we have here so i'll go ahead Docker Compose Watch. So while this is running, we can go to our uh, Docker desktop and see the status changing. And uh, we can go, okay, running five of five. So it's basically saying we, there are five containers for this application. So if you basically drill down, we can see the first one is the proxy, um, then client. Uh, we have DB is given one container, the web interface to manage uh, the data using PHP. My admin has one container and the backend. So, and this is running on port 80. Um, so we can go ahead and try um, launching this application um because it's already up so local host yeah i already have local host done uh it's yeah i mean uh, containers are running but i'm verifying on the 
URL as well. Uh, you uploaded it to Docker Hub, right? Um, I haven't created the image. I will create. I just wanted to show the application. Okay. okay. Yeah. So here is a header. Hello from Docker. Um, mm. Books catalog and PC. So this is basically um, the application. So you have an option to add uh, the details and it will basically uh, make a list out of this, after which you can basically add, delete, update these changes. Uh, that's the functionality of this application. So now we'll go back to our Visual Studios um, and create an image for this uh, build. So let's say tomorrow there's a need to change something. So for for this change, I'll go to this file, which basically has the details of headers. So I can update this from hello from say uh, Docker image. And it can say it shows that it has modified. So we can make some commits if needed here. We can say um, creating image and coming to the GitHub. I'll say yes. Now, um, while that is happening, we can go ahead and create an image for these uh, containers. For that, um, let's go to Docker and build an image. So here it's saying tag image as. So it's basically telling how do you want to uniquely identify. So I already have the previously trial, which is version one. So I'll say this is for um, image one. OK, and I'll say enter. OK, now it's basically in the background I triggered a command build to basically um, create this image for us. So executing the task is building. So you can verify the same. Um, there's one extension called Docker, which you can install on Visual Studios. So once you go here, you can see under images. Um, we should be able to see once the image is created, um, it should be available here locally. So one advantage of having these images is um, we can distribute them across different regions when needed. Um, we can pull those images and download and they're ready to use. OK, I think this is done. Uh, you can see the containers, everything started. Um, everything has a checkpoint, so syncing back again after changes were detected. OK. OK, so let's go ahead and create. So we can see under getting started to do app, there's a, a image named image one. This is on local, so now we will push this image onto uh, the registry, which is Docker registry, so that it's available. We can make it available for for uh, distribution. So I will select where which kind of registry provider here, which is a Docker hub. Um, I think it credentials. That's not matching. I'll try to do this. Docker logout. Let's try again. And we will we'll try logging it from here. Toggle login. So 
So this credential has to match with what you log in on the Docker Hub. Otherwise, um, we won't be able to push the image to the registry. So now let's try again. Let's say push. Now it's saying, please pick which provider you want. Um, it says credentials not matching. Let's try retry credentials. Uh, one. Okay. Did it work? No. Three minutes ago. Let's check. It says for some reason here it says you're logged in, but on the UI it said it didn't. So I just want to confirm if something um with the Docker Hub here. Okay. Let's refresh. Even with it didn't come here, so um, it it's okay. Let's try again. Not sure why it accepted my credentials from the command prompt, but it was not trying to, able to connect from here. So let's see. Is there anything here? Let, so it's here. It's here. This I'm already connected. I'm already signed in. Um, I'll try again. Restart extension. I think there's some. Um, please restart extension. Enable the updated extension. Okay, maybe I'll just uh, complete this update. It shouldn't take long. Auto update. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, we'll try again. Build image and let's say image one. Now you can see now uh, the build is triggered. Okay, it will create image one for us. It, it might not be available on the um, Docker Hub, but we can actually see from the uh, Docker desktop. Uh, let's see if it shows here. We'll go to images. See image one, we, um, it shows here. So it's available on our local, it's just that it's not um, able to push to the Docker Hub because of some login credential uh, glitch here. Um, summary of image for this recommendation. Okay. Let's try pushing this image this time. Element with ID getting started to do is already registered. Okay. Let's see if we are able to push this. Okay, now it's trying to logging. It was something with maybe with the uh, extension update um, that it allows to properly log in. So now it's we already have the image. Now it's trying to um, put it in layers so that tomorrow, if you needed to resize the image, reduce, uh, just take resources that are needed as part of this image, we can do that. Um, so layer already exists. Uh, terminal will be used and tasks. So now let's go back to the hub. 
and see if we are able to see this new the image one. Yeah, we can see that uh, the image has been created. So we can see it's a uh, for almost 400 MB. Um, which includes all the containers and this image can be later distributed and can be used in another uh, machine as well. So this is what I wanted to show as part of today's demo, Shandi. Yeah, so fine, fine. Let us stop recording. <laughs>